YouTube Sam here. Well, we're here on the Explorer brakes, uh, 92 Ford Explorer, 91 Ford Explorer, excuse me. Um, and we got to get this done. And what I'm going to be using, this is what I'm putting on it. EBC brakes. Anything I do. So um, if you see me doing something and you don't like the way I'm doing it, don't do it. I'm not responsible if you do something I do, hurt yourself, somebody else, or hurt your rig or something like that. Um, I'm not responsible for anything. You guys are responsible to find out torque specs. You guys are responsible to look at the warnings and the instructions that come with whatever it is you're putting on. My brakes, the ones I'm buying here, might have a totally different thing for warnings and how you do it on the box that they're selling. So uh, you guys are responsible to do your own research on what you're doing. Break that loose. And then there's another one down here. This seems to get in the way, so I just break it loose as well. In theory, I pop the bolts completely out. Just get rid of them. Well, don't get rid of them. Send them to the side and wiggle this off. And we'll see if it just pops off. Yeah, it did. Very simple. You pop off. Now the other side didn't pop off so easily. So I took a little bit of a hammer and wrapped on this and it popped right loose, no problem. So, but sometimes you can definitely get rust down in here and, and in between here and the, the back piece here and it'll want to stick, but no such problem on this side. I'm just gonna kinda, without touching them too much here, just check size to size and shape to shape, holes to holes, hole in here, set in between here and the brake shoe or brake pad here uh, and you slowly very slowly you don't want to enter if you do it too fast uh, a couple things you can shoot your brake fluid right out the bottle up front and second thing you can introduce air in here um, that's less likely but you never know so, uh, first of all I got a bucket down below here and I'm just gonna take my brake clean and just spray the ever loving the Jesus out of it uh, you can choose how far you want to go as far as cleanliness and cleaning. Um, I'm okay with just kind of hosing that down and being good. This is your um, your <clears throat> emergency brake stuff here. I'm not messing with that um, other than like I may take a little bit of that. I got red scotch right here. I love this stuff for cleaning stuff up and uh, take a little bit of that maybe scuff it up yet again you can choose to do you know what i'm doing or not i figure this will kind of clean it up and maybe give it a little bit more of an edge um, let that dry off pretty good here take some more of this uh, red scotch bright and i'm just gonna clean in between here. a little bit of brake cleaner and i'm gonna clean this up really good here these uh rubber pieces here are some pins and basically you're going to want to carefully pop those out and I just push them straight down just a little bit of pressure and they pop out and same thing okay. my red scotch bright it's already got quite a bit of brake clean on it so I'm just going to take that and so next up, I got this um, synthetic brake and caliper grease. Um, now this is a step a lot of people don't use, and quite honestly, I went a long time without uh, doing any of this kind of stuff on my brake jobs. Um, but it is something I've come to find out is a pretty good idea to uh, to use some of this. And where I'm going to put that is a few places, starting with the pins here. I'll put a little bit on each of the pins. And I do have gloves on now because this is a pretty nasty job. Doesn't take a ton, and I don't know, you know, this is a whole lot better than just regular grease or whatever, but it is a whole lot stickier filling. And I'm going to put a little bit more on there. And then I'm just going to take that 
and try and pop it down in here. Now, from the other side, it was a little bit difficult. I had to kind of turn it at the same time as pushing it. There we go, and that pops in there. And then just kind of stuff it down in there until you hear it pop on the other side. Kind of hold on to this maybe a little bit. There you go, that popped in there. And there is like a little groove where each of these set. Here the pop and put that up. Now when you're done with that, you're gonna wanna kind of push these all the way up in here. Uh, be careful, try not to get this where the actual brake, keep on wanting to call them brake shoes, brake pads. Try not to keep, get them where the brake pads are going to be. Um, same thing, I'm gonna put a little bit actually oh, here. My battery died in the middle of filming. So uh, I went ahead, put the uh, brake grease on there and there. I also put some on here. Now you could choose to just put it maybe around this edge is probably really all you need to do, but I went ahead and slathered a little bit on there. Both uh, keeps the rust down and uh, will also help it from you know, sticking to it too bad if I ever need to pull these off again next time, hopefully. Um, I've also heard of putting anti-seize in those areas. Uh, but this actually on the brake grease uh, said to go ahead and put it in this area. So I went ahead and did that. Uh, if you want, anti-seize will work well too. I have done that before and it worked good. Anyhow, so now it's time to put this on here. Hopefully without getting grease or anything bad all over it. All right. Now, time to put our brake shoes back in here, brake pads back in here. I'm never going to get rid of that brake shoe it problem. have a brake in stuff on it, so you want to try not to touch it. Oop, almost put that on backwards. Now this one, the outer one, has this spring right here. And that pops. There's a hole here and a hole here. And then there's also these nubs right here that have that go into a groove up in here they're actually the nubs underneath this spring go into a groove so the main thing is kind of stick that on there and then I'm going to take my big screwdriver wipe the end of it off on my leg here to make sure it's as clean as I can and I'm going to carefully pry out on this now this you got to be kind of careful uh, you don't want to bend these you want them to stay springy Unlike when you put them, took them off, you don't want these to pop loose. And it is just kind of a pain. There's that side. And do the same thing with this side. There, that's kind of in there. Now that I got those out there a little bit, just push down on it. There we go. Until it pops into that holes right there and there. Now I will say that in the midst of doing things, I did chip off some of the coating here, unfortunately. They don't look too bad. Now, I'm going to take it, and right here, I don't know if you can see that, hopefully you can, there's kind of a groove inside the bottom of the actual brake pads here. Uh, that rides right on this section right here. So I'm going to put the bottom one on first, kind of get the brakes seated in there. Oh, that's something else. You got to make sure these are pushed all the way to the edge as far as you can get them to to push there. Um, and you're going to get some grease on you, so be careful not to touch the brakes anymore after that. That slides in there, and then that same thing. It's got a couple little arms up here that just slide on this metal piece here. And so that's on. There. And just stick them back in where they came out of. And then I'm going to take the 10 millimeter, tighten that back up. Uh, yet again, as most of my videos, it's up to you to find out what your torque specs are. EC brake upgrade on my Ford Explorer here. That should be everything. Uh, once again, I'll tighten those down and we're all done. So being as we're done, this is Sam, Jack of all, master none. You all have a good one.